Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes to Code, Programming Basics with your host, Matthew C. Applegate. In this series, we are going to look at the fundamentals of computer programming and hardware. So whether you are hoping to program in Python, to code in C-sharp, or to develop in Java, these short guides should help you get to grips with the basics. You won't need to download or install any software, so just sit back and enjoy. Today, we are going to look at trace tables. So let's look at this in more detail. Trace tables or dry runs are a simple method of testing a program without running it on a computer. It also lets you, the programmer, have a better understanding of the program because you actually have to do the computation yourself. You might think it is a bit weird to do as we now have computers everywhere and we don't have to book time on the local university computer like they had to in the 1970s but it is a good tool to learn and may help solve some tricky logic problems you simply can't solve by brute force compile and trial error. Let's start with a nice short example before we move on to a bigger one. This example will give us an average of the scores we enter. Normally, you would have all the code written for the program already, so you know what variables are going to be used this will also make drawing of the table easier. So in this program, we have count, number, total, and average. So the first thing we are going to do is set them all to zero. Zero, 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 zero. Now following this, we have a while loop. While count is less than three, input a number, then add that number to the total, and add one to count. Okay. So first of all, let's pick a number to enter. Let's pick two. Let's put two in the next row down of the table in the number column. We then add total, which is zero, to total, which gives us zero, and then we add the two from the number variable. So now let's put two in the total column. We now have to add count, which is zero, to count, which gives us zero and add one to it, so count is now one. So let's put a one in that column. Okay, that is the end of the first of three times around the loop. The second time around the loop, let's enter the number three. So we add that to the total, which gives us five, and we add one to count. And finally, the third time around the loop, we add one. So that brings the total up to six, and count up to three, and ends the loop. With the two final commands, we now take the total and divide it by the count. So six divided by three equals two. So the average equals two. So there you have it, a simple trace table or dry run. Let's do it again this time, but with a bigger example. This time we are going to have two teams with three scores each, an average for team one, team two, and an overall average. So let's start by setting all the variables to zero. Now, just like the last program, we have a while loop. First, add the first team one score as four, and then add that to the team one total. So that now equals four. Next, let's add the first team two score as three, and then add that to the team two total. So that now equals three. We now add one to the count and go around the loop again. Count is now at one. Add the second team one score as six, and then add that to the team one total. So that now equals 10. Next, let's add the second team two score as eight. Then add that to the team two total. So now that equals 11. We now add one to count and go around the loop one more time. Now let's add the third team one score as five. Then add that to the team total so that now equals 15. Next, let's add the third team two score is seven, then add that to the team two total. So now that equals 18. Add one to count, so count is now three and we end that loop. Okay, finally, we are going to create some averages. Team one average equals team total divided by count. So 15 divided by three is five. Team two average is 18 divided by three. So that's six. We now add up both totals together and that gives us 33. But we need to divide it by count times two 
because there's actually six sets of scores in that number instead of three, and that gives us 5.5. So we can now see that team one is slightly below average and team two are slightly above average. And there you have it. That is trace tables. You can check it all by popping it in the calculator. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video and comment below if you found it useful. If you want to get started in programming right away, be sure to check out my computer art programming tutorials here. Until next time, thanks for watching 5 Minutes to Code.